So we're gonna be doing some strategy for Muay Thai right now. And I don't want this to be like the encyclopedia of how to, but just rather some superficial evidence on what you should be doing or how you should be approaching this. Uh, so if I'm working with a partner and either I or they have the longer reach, we have to understand some limitations that are gonna happen here. Every time, if me and my partner have our hands up, every time they drop their hand or loosen or anything like that, there's a chance for the longer range person to be able to make contact and not them at the same time. So if we're good at like using fainting or, or any kind of manipulation or setups like that, you can end up playing a really bad game if you're not really good at countering and slipping from there. So the basic fight strategy to try to fight someone that has a longer reach than you is to try to do the catalyst movement of your combo as a kick. So for example, if I went to throw a jab at my partner and I'm the longer reach, she may want to lead back, lean back and throw an inside roundhouse and then come in with some punches when her weight is transferred. So just really simply, if I'm trying to throw my longest range punches, which is really gonna be the benefit for the person that has a longer reach, keeping them at bay with your jabs and your crosses, if they can use their legs or their kicks to counter, they can end up setting up really, really well their punches rather than trying to brawl in or slip in and take the chance at trying to score their punches on me while I might be just holding them at bay at a very long distance. So super simple, if you're fighting a longer range opponent, try to set up your kicks and then your punches. Here's what we're gonna talk about now. If you're the longer range fighter fighting against a shorter range opponent, if that person has a lot of experience, they're gonna be really good at stepping offline and cutting angles to get to the inside. So something that you can do is keep them at bay with your straight punches like this. And then at that point, if they go even further out of range, you can start using your long range kicks to try to keep them at bay. The only time where we're gonna start getting in trouble with a shorter range, op shorter range opponent is if I throw a punch and they duck in or they move in somehow like that and they come into their zone. So I guess what I'm getting at here superficially is if you're the longer range fighter, Try to keep them at bay, keep lots of lead hand movement, lots of fast punches happening there to set up your power punches and try to stop them from getting inside where they can start landing effectively.